lighting. Obviously, it's not ideal. It's cloudy, raining, and kind of snowing outside right now. I obviously had to close my blinds because I'm going to be trying on the clothes. And I thought that I'd like quickly show you guys some of the things because I am trying to find my Yoongi concert fit TXT and then other things. So I don't know. Thought this could be fun. Different content for you all. Okay, first up. It's going to be hard for you guys to see because everything that I got is black. I just realized that. First up, this dress. I added this, like, you know, little cropped t-shirt because I think that this is so cute with things and, like, this is how I would wear it. This is mine, but I got the dress and I think it's really cute. It's just very simple. Kind of 90s. But I think this is cute and I think a keep. I don't think I would wear this to Yungi or TXT, but I have this skirt. This is very different for me. This is a long skirt, which usually they don't work for me because I'm only 5'1". Is it not old lady, though? Because it's so long. Okay, we have another dress. I think this one is a no. These sleeves are very um. I, I don't know how I'm feeling and I think the bottom is just a little bit too big for the bottom half. I think I'd need one size down but then the top won't fit which is the actual story of my life. This is why I can't find clothes. I don't know. I think that this is a no. Okay. I got this one originally to be like those little button-up shirts that you kind of wear over things but it's a little too long for that. It's too long to do the shirt thing and then I saw people in the reviews were wearing it as dresses. I would say it's honestly too short to be a dress. Also, I just think that this, this is not it. Not it. So, return. This dress, nothing like I thought it was. Very, very different from advertised. I feel very uncomfortable right now. Just like I'm not a tight dress girly. Return. We have this shirt. It's kind of cute. Like it zips. You could do like the bottom or the top. I don't know. Honestly, put certain things in my cart in certain stores because I know that their return policy is wonderful. And so I'm just like, you know what? Try it because then I could just return it. This was one of those items. Yeah, this is just like not me. Like I would not wear this. I would not know how to style this. It's a return. Everything is black. But honestly, I just snapped actually gravitate towards black and this me ordering all of this and not even realizing until it came in is just the proof but but this bow tie thing that you tie right here there's a giant gap right here there's no shirt right here because you you can't really tell but this is my, literally my bra i don't yeah cute in theory not actually cute black but it has a pattern i feel like this is a little too much like like i need but you get what I mean. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, I need less. I'm trying to, like, I need, like, less fabric. And then the only problem is that part of my bra shows the way that this goes down. But I think if I put on my other one, then this top would be too tight and it wouldn't fit. This is the story of my life, guys. Like, I, I yeah, no, this is, like, way too big. This is way too much material. But I couldn't go size down. Um, this is the story of my life, guys. Um, I also just tried on two other tops that I just could not show you on camera. Those were returns. This is my life, guys. I can never find clothes because nothing ever fits. Nothing ever fits like everything. It's always too big here, slightly tight here, too tight here. Unrelated and not from Shein, I got these two shirts from Kohl's randomly when my parents were shopping there. From the men's section though, and so I just want to try them on to make sure. I got a large because obviously huge shirts don't acquaint for <laughs> room for chest sizes, but I'm also only 5'1", so I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I'm gonna make sure that these work but i got this cute little care bear one and then a sailor moon one like why don't we get cute things like this i just tried on the care bears one and that was good here's the sailor moon one it's good i mean <laughs> technically if i were to i wouldn't wear it like that i or something like this, like mess around with it. That's it. 90% of what I just tried on, I am returning. So this is fun, because I have no idea what else. I, I like genuinely, guys, I can't find clothes. It's so fun. What is on my shirt? Oh, there's a sticker. 14. Hope you enjoyed my haul. Sounds scary outside, the weather sounds scary. Hope you enjoyed my haul. I'm gonna clean up and then eat some lunch.
especially felt for Karen and her storyline. Oh, I absolutely love the talk on motherhood in this book as well. The female friendships, incredible. orders day slash new designs so here are a few new designs this is just on the transfer sheet so i still have to cut these off and as you can see they're like doubled so we have the nile heaven design inspired by what was on the wall at his pop-up shop this heaven design as well and then these are all just orders i added these to put in the little logo inside the shirt because i've still been cutting mine out myself i don't know i decided to test it out this way this time to see how it goes so we have more orders. Somebody finally ordered the Run BTS design. I'm so, 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 so happy. And then we have some new design. But we have a Busuk soon. I haven't revealed this yet when I'm filming this. So I don't know. I'm the most apprehensive about this one. But if anything, I'll have a one of a kind shirt. <laughs> and then we have two TXT ones. So we have this one for our Sugar Rush ride. And then I have this one. This is the one that I honestly have no idea. This randomly came to me and I just kind of went with it. And then I wasn't going to add it to the sheet but I had extra room but it's heavy fools it's kind of like it's there's a line I don't know if it's in the actual song or if it's in the verse that Yunjin added in that one performance that they did of them and it's something about a bear I think or is it like Pooh Bear? Something. There's something with a bear. That's where my brain went with this. We'll see. Probably one of my favorite designs I've ever made is this one. Hope on the street with Hobie. Like these little details. I'm kind of like proud of myself and this is always for us we'll see if anybody orders anything this water bottle always comes in handy to be a tripod it seems to be the theme as of recently slash this year positive feedback on tiktok people on tiktok saying that they love it favoriting liking following commenting saying that they want it blah 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 but not getting orders we'll see i have all the blanks and everything here my main focus today is going to be orders and i'll see how long that takes me because i love to think that i can do it all and it always takes me longer than i think it will so being realistic i don't know if i'm going to get to pressing any of the new designs today also because with that i have to get so much content of me doing that and i already am running low on my short form content so i need to record things of me making and packing orders so anyway we'll see none of this is exciting for you but Look who's live. Oh, why won't it? Hello? Oh, you can't like switch it? Wait, this is annoying. I've never done this on my iPad. There's gotta be a way to like, <laughs> this looks so dumb. <laughs> wait, you can't do this? Okay, wait, is it him or is it me? Bro, do you see this? I've been having so many problems with Weavers lately. Hello? <gasps> Where'd he go? Dude, what <laughs> I make it full screen. And this is what happened. Hello? Why isn't he popping up? There he is. Turn the chat off because y'all annoying. Will this work? Bruh. <laughs> I have my iPad. Like I was watching YouTube videos and then it popped up. JK started his live. Do you want to know what's so weird? I had a gut feeling. Oh, JK's cooking show. I had this gut feeling yesterday. Like last night. I was like, JK's going to go live tomorrow. And it randomly just popped into my head. And then I was like, I hope it's not in the morning because I have so many orders to do. I don't know why it won't rotate. I just thought it was funny. Good timing, I guess. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be productive. Oh, my. Are you kidding? Hello. Um, hi. There was another reason why I was going to pull out this camera that didn't have to do with JK, but now my head is in JK brain rot mode. Okay, well, I completely forgot what I was saying anyway, but um, I actually did quite a bit. I made it halfway through while watching JK, so three, four. There's two in that order. So we have four more things to press. I just did an indigo one. Thank you to the person that ordered this. It's always so exciting when it's the first order of a design. And this is the first one, so. I just said I didn't want things to be super, super chatty, and here I am. But I randomly posted to my Instagram story, which, like I mentioned, I don't know how many videos ago, I've been really trying to be more active on Instagram. So far, I've been doing at least a better th job than last year, and that's all we can ask for, honestly. Put on there, and I just sat on there, and I said how I just have this, like, feeling about we 
weekly vlogging like why do i not weekly vlog anymore and i understood why i stopped and it's because i just felt like my life was so boring and that is totally valid and totally true and some weeks it is so boring but i feel like i'm really trying to find this balance of working but also like living because i have a really bad habit of just working 24 7 and i think it's because what i do is so weird and unique and it's a very very thin line between when i'm like working and creating like a new design or i'm i don't it's just like a very very thin line because i work from home i'm doing fandom related things which is also like a hobby anyway the line is very thin sometimes it isn't that exciting sometimes it's just me staring at a computer because i'm working on designs or i'm coming up with something or i'm trying to do website maintenance or I'm editing a video. Sometimes things aren't exciting because I have like no orders coming in. I don't know. I just have this feeling about weekly vlogging. I just wanted to share that in real time on here and we'll see. We'll see what I do. I think I'm still gonna call them all digital diaries though, but I'm gonna take a weekly vlog approach, if that makes sense. You will not believe what I just did. Like I showed you earlier, I ordered some of my transfers, like with my transfer thing. Oh, ignore that. I just made that mark on it, but my little logo, right? Okay, I put it inside the stuff, like on the inside next to the size tag. So this is my first time using the DTF transfers of them. Usually I cut them out still with HTV myself. That's this one. So usually I use my little mini Cricut heat press like the that looks like a little iron to iron these on not my actual big heat press because it's such a small area that these go in and the thing about the transfers one of the things that makes it work is pressure and that's why you can't have like the Cricut easy press like this thing that's why you can't use that with transfers because you need the pressure that an actual heat press gives you but when i do the htv one that i cut myself i don't have to put the little heat mat down that i usually do when i'm using the mini one because it's only a few seconds that that's on stupid me goes on autopilot since i don't have to use the heat mat for the htv ones that i make and i don't have the mat down when i'm using the transfer one and so i'm putting making sure to apply extra pressure long story short because i didn't put mat down I melted the table. Do you see that? I literally, look at, I, I literally melted the table. Not my proudest day. Anyway, it's fine. It doesn't matter that I did this to this table. I cannot believe that I, like, essentially I melted the table. I feel like this is like a spotlight. Finally finished all my orders and everything. Because of what JK made earlier on his live, it has me craving this little like salmon bowl. Kind of that I make it is extremely extremely simple. I do not enjoy cooking. I don't eat meat. I just eat like the same things on rotation. I am not a foodie. Anyway, all unrelated. From what JK made, it like reminded me of a salmon bowl that I make pretty often. And it's this, this it's with this frozen salmon from Trader Joe's. It has this butter on it and they put way too much of it. Way too much for my personal preference. So I have to like hack at it and cut the globs off they put like these three huge globs anyway i'm gonna put that in the oven and make it and i figured i'd show you guys it's very simple it's just like rice the salmon avocado sometimes i add cucumbers i know that might be a little bit of a weird thing but i really like those in there i don't have any right now though coconut aminos and then a little bit of kewpie mayo mix that all together and then i eat it with seaweed it's like not similar at all to anything that he made but it just it made me think of it